What's going on YouTube? So a lot of you guys been always asking me on my channel GT Addiction about how do we create custom uh, models or bits using Blender software. Uh, actually, I received tons of uh, emails on my channel, so I just decided to make a video and I'll be making it as simple as possible so you guys can just get your, your things done. Uh, so just let's get started. Uh, first of all, what you need to do is you need to download uh, Blender. Actually, uh, I always prefer to use Blender 4.0 because most of the add-ons that we need to use are working fine with Blender 4.0. So let's uh, just see how can we download that. You go to just Google and click download, um, download Blender 4. I'm just going to type it like uh, Blender 4.0 download, right? So there we go. And then you go to Blender releases. Not, not this page, just go back. Yeah, there we go, this one. And then you just go down, you know, if you're a Mac user, you'll be using, um, you know, the Blender for Mac, but I'm a Windows user, so I'm going for 6.4. Click download, there we go. I already have the software on my device, on my laptop, so no need, no need to download it again, but I'm just showing you the process. Once your, uh, your uh, Blender is, is just um, already downloaded, what you need to do is, now I'm showing you for example, here is my Blender, right? I got this slide, and I'd like to add this slide inside JTA and let the JTA uh, characters start to have fun on it, play, drive cars, drive motorcycles, and I also, I still can duplicate this slide, you know, and maybe add different colors to it. So, but now we're just working on one slide, so you know how the process is going to be made, right? Now I got this slide in here, I can, I think it's duplicate, it's a duplicate, let me delete it. So yeah, this is how the process works. Now we got Blender, which is the first step. Second step is there is one more add-on that we need to download called Slamos. Slamos is made by Skylums. This guy is a very good guy. I really give him uh, a big thank you because he made it just for free. So he released all the versions on GTA uh, 5 modscom and it's totally free. You can download it. So once you download it, it's going to be a zip code, uh, sorry, it's going to be a zip file. So let's just download it now and show you how it works. Go to download page. And then there we go, guys. Download, mm -mm -mm, yeah, Slamas ZIB. Then you want to unzip it. You're, you didn't need to unzip it, I remember, sorry. He's just going to put it on the, I'm going to put it on the desktop right here. Because it's an add-on, so no need to unzip this. Just keep it. And then you go to Edit, Preferences, and then um, Add-ons, you know, just install, and then you check your, where is it, going to desktop. I put it on my desktop. Yeah, there we go. Just click on Slamas, ZIB, and then just install Add-ons. There we go, and then go for Searching. Slamos now it's already um, it's already added to Blender, right? This is a very important tool, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because you actually need this tool for turning your mesh actually into a model, right? Into a physical model. Because inside the game, this model is not just a drawing; it's a mesh, and. Uh, and inside the game, it's going to be interacting with other objects and characters. So that's why we need Slamas, right? Uh, I'm not going to be showing you how do we do this process in this video because this add-on is actually working on both physics and texture because you need to apply a specific texture to your, um, like a specific texture form formula that is going to be read by GTA 5 because it's a bit different from Blender. So we finished this. Now, the next step would be uh, downloading Codewalker for GTA. This is a very important uh, 
Uh, actually, it's like a uh, Snedden Allen is actually like an editor that we're using because once you finish your file with M Blender, you need to make a modification inside the formula so that you're changing it from FBX or to YDT. And I'll be showing you this out within the coming video, but not in this one. So we can download Code Walker, and I'm gonna be showing you the link down below within this video, right? So there we go. Download Code Walker. I actually got it on my laptop already. I'm gonna be showing you how this works. Let's go for Code Walker. There we go. Add open file location. So here we go. I put it inside of one of the files in here. Where, yeah, slide files, code walker, and then RBF Explorer. So, this is the tool that we're using to turn our uh, like a blender, like model, or whatever into a formula that can be used by uh, actually uh, GTA 5, right? So, there we go. Now you got everything ready. So, that's perfect. Within this video, everything is ready. And the next step within the coming video, I'll be showing you how do you, uh, you know, start uh, adding this object inside Blender itself, right? You know, uh, sorry. Uh, how do you use? Um, how do you add your your uh, your object or your model inside the game? I just wanted to show something here, right? Because if you're not really able to create a model from zero. There is no need for that with Blender. You can just, you know, for example, I have a prepared file that I downloaded. Look at this one. And then this is the one I'm going to be using inside the game. Or I probably want to use this ladder, right? But I'm just using this slide for now. So I just made it, I just copied it and put it in another uh, file just to be alone. No need to put it with other objects so that you don't get any errors. So I just have the slides that I'm going to be using inside the game, right? But we will be just working on one for now, so you guys don't feel confused. So thank you very much for watching. I just want you to download all the um, add-ons that I showed you. And then within the coming video, I'll show you how to add uh, the slide inside the game. Thank you for watching, guys.